Hello Pisces, this is your reading for the month of November 2021. Well, this is a regular reading, which means it may not it may not resonate with all of you, but let's have a look what's going on in November 2021 for us Pisceans, because I'm a Pisces or Piscean myself. Um, and I separated the, the decks here in different areas. So we have um, the, an overall energy for the month of November. So we we're, we're know where we're heading, if that makes sense. Then we look at anything to do with emotions, love or no love, or what needs to um, let go, or what maybe is coming in. And then we are looking at opportunities that arise <clears throat> or may arise in November. And if we are unclear, there are so many decks here and so many guides here that we can always ask for clarification. So let's have a look at the month of November. Before we do this, let me just say that November is the 11th month and 11 is a master number, which is significant in the sense that the energy of the month itself is therefore boosted. So anything that comes in for us or for you Pisceans <clears throat> is amplified. So whatever comes up here, will be felt strongly by you Pisceans or us Pisceans. And it is important not to underestimate this because Pisces, we are, well, it sounds a bit uh, weird, but I think we probably are the, the most spiritual star sign because we are the star sign of dreamers, if that makes sense, right? And if you think what happened to your lighting, I'm just trying out different lights for the first time. Um, so I just put them where I felt um, the ambiance is nice. So yeah, <laughs> let, let, let me know if it was distracting or not. In any case, let's have a look at the energy for the month of November 2021 for us Pisceans. Well, we have the gray wolf, the blue heron and the wolverine. The the, the one in the middle, which is the blue heron, because it is flanked by two others, is the one we pay the most attention to. Now, obviously, all three animal guides are important, but it is the energy of the one in the middle that has the most significance for November. So, starting with the animal guide to the left, which is the grey wolf, what the, the energy is telling us, Pisceans, remember, I said that just a couple of minutes ago or seconds ago, that November is a very strong month because it is a master number month. And we have the Grey Wolf. And the Grey Wolf is basically saying to us, Pisceans, whatever happens in November can only really come to fruition when you make it so. Make it so. So, I, so what that means is we have to be in charge. Um, maybe not so much in charge, but, but in control of our own... Um, Dealings, if that makes sense. Anything that has to do with, with yourself, you should really not only try, but make sure you're in charge of your own affairs. Really, really important. But that's just the incoming energy, <coughs> excuse me, for the month of November, because the one in the middle, like I said, we pay the most attention to, which is the blue heron. Sorry. <coughs> And the heron is basically a, a bird that stands in the water on one leg, all days, all day. And when the fish comes, he goes, thank you very much. So that translates into the following. While we are asked to take charge, to be in control in as far as we're looking at what is in our lives and we're dealing with it. That's the main message. And at the same time, because the blue heron is the animal guide in the middle, therefore the most important in the reading, um, and he just waits for the fish to come, we don't have to rush anything. Really, really important. We do not have to rush anything, and we certainly do not have to push anything to see if we can make things happen. Which sounds a bit contradictive when the guys just said, you know, unless you make it so, there's a difference between being pushy just because we can, because the wolf, the incoming energy here, 
is a leader of the pack. He's not an aggressor, if that makes sense, right? <coughs> he leads the pack. And there's a lot of rules inside and dynamics inside the pack. And uh, it hardly ever comes to massive blows, simply because the pack needs each other. So the aggression inside a pack is normally based on achieving stability, if that makes sense. Right? That's why it is so important to realize this. And then we have the Wolverine, which is basically another way of saying, um, while this is a good month to actually say, like, okay, well, this, is, this has gone on long enough, this isn't quite right, or this feels now is the time to do something with it. All these things are important. But the Wolverine is saying to you, you're still evolving. So there may still be changes coming in that you may or may not fully see yet. Hence, that exactly makes sense because it's the outgoing energy of the, the monthly energy as it is presented to us. Um, that makes sense in as, in, as, in as far as realizing that, and I think I already said that, when you're too pushy, when you're saying like, you know, for the sake of it, just because this sort of irks you, whatever, um, I'm going to deal with this once and for all. There's no need to be, energetically speaking, that super determined either, just to make things happen. So if there are things that need answers, um, November may not be the ones to, to, to really dig for the answers and really make sure that people come clean, if that makes sense, because there's an energy or an element here of, of bringing stuff out in the open. Now, that is not a bad idea to have things come out in the open. But obviously the way to deal with this is to still go with the flow, just be a bit more determined to have things cleared up, if that makes sense, <clears throat> right? And remember, you're still evolving. That in itself is a message for us Pisceans to remember that because we are the star sign of dreamers, we are also the star sign of empathy. So whatever you find, Whoever is causing issues in your life, whoever is causing damage or has caused damage for whatever reason, look at them understanding that what they need the most is probably healing. They don't need you to, to bash them, if that makes sense, and to be super negative. If you need to let someone go for good, you can let them go for good with love, right? So that's that. That was the overall energy, so to speak, um, or the, the November energy um, for us Pisceans. Now we're looking at the element of emotions, um, deep-seated feelings, and possibly even love before we move on to opportunities. So this is the reading for Pisces. Let's have a look at emotions. Emotionally speaking, for us Pisceans, we have the sturgeon, the snake and the falcon. Remember, the one in the middle is the one we pay the most attention to. And then we have an incoming energy and an outgoing energy. <clears throat> the incoming energy is important in as far as we are, Pisceans, very deep. Therefore, we do suffer for quite a long time. It is not the easiest of tasks for Piscean to move on. Oftentimes when we say like, yeah, I've been there before, I learned my lesson. It's usually not how Pisceans really are. And even if you felt I let that go, if you sped it up, letting it go just to feel like I don't have to deal with it, or you feel you have dealt with it, but really haven't, um, the same scenario will happen to you again until you actually understand the message there is. So here's why we have the sturgeon. Because the sturgeon is one of those animals that literally can go down to the bottom of the lake like this. They have no problem with pressure that comes from all sides. If they are determined to reach the bottom, they let themselves literally glide down. But the main message that the sturgeon brings us is that he can live up to 60 years in the wild, 
but reaches sexual maturity rather late. Therefore, technically speaking, you could say, hmm, doesn't that make them vulnerable to extinction? The answer is possibly, but the evidence is sturgeons are still around. So what they're saying to, to you with regards to love, let love find you. If you are determined, obviously, absolutely, you know, it is the month of taking charge. So maybe um, if you are looking for love, make it happen in the sense that you're being proactive. <laughs> yeah, you know, <clears throat> whichever shape and form that takes for you personally. But also allow for things to not be immediate necessarily, right? Don't be impatient. And don't just go like, yeah, that's the, that's the right one for me um, because it's time I had a girlfriend or a boyfriend, right? Or a relationship. The point the guys are making is things that are worth while having sometimes are worth waiting for. And so the energy with regards to finding love, manifesting love, is to allow for it to naturally come about and realizing that this is not a thing it sounds weird because what I'm, what I'm sort of getting is this scenario is oh i don't want to be alone at christmas and it's only a month away <laughs> right if you are alone at christmas right you may not be alone at christmas all you may not have is a partner at christmas <clears throat> Christmas is still what you make it. Every day is still what you make it to a large extent. So don't try to manifest something because of memories or festivities that remind you how isolated you truly are, right? Because that's not what love is about. I'm just getting these things about um, being impatient, um, <laughs> if that makes sense, or being fed up. It depends on where you are in life. It just basically feels to me with regards to <coughs> manifesting love it also has to do with when you if you should you be in a relationship that is ongoing then obviously there's also stuff that needs to be looked at properly before changes can be made right and that's very important because the middle animal the one that is the most important obviously is the snake and the snake is the animal of health and protection when you go to the pharmacy you see a, a, a snake around the cane so the the middle animal is telling us with regards to love to be a good partner we have to remember to also shed our skin because it is not helpful bringing tons of luggage into a new situation now should you be in a relationship with someone where you both brought a lot of luggage right maybe the attempt should be to look at how much luggage is still there and can we lighten the load and how can this be achieved if that makes sense so already there's an element of doing things together before you may even have found someone if that makes sense so therefore, if you are in a relationship, it is about reflecting on where you really are at this point in time. The outgoing energy for anything to do with emotions and also with emotional um, baggage, because that was mentioned here. So if this isn't about a partner for you, but about feeling, oh, I, I've, I've given up on that, um, then obviously, you know, shedding your skin will probably help you realize that, you know, if you wanted a relationship, they're out there. You don't have to resign yourself to a lonely life just because of whatever happened to you, if that makes sense. Because as you probably heard before, men are, men are not all alike, women are not all alike, right? So it is important to realize this and manifest appropriately because the outgoing energy is the falcon. And the falcon is literally telling you with regards to love you just do your thing you just go about manifesting as best you can right and opportunities will come your way and you will see it you will feel that feels great so 
assess anything to do with love from an intu intu intuitive point of view. Feel it rather than analyze. Okay, that was that. Lastly, we're looking at opportunities um, with regards to you know what what sustains you financially, if that makes sense. So, specifically asked the guides <clears throat> whether or not you know um, the um, the expansion. Uh, you know, let's, let's just make us a picture. Um, now is the time to have a new office kind of stuff. If this actually makes sense, and we have the ring-necked pheasant, the great horned owl, and the chipmunk. Ultimately, November is a really strong month. Apparently, it is not the month to make changes because you, uh, we have the, the, the ring-necked pheasant, the great horned owl, and the chipmunk. The one in the middle is the owl. And the owl is literally an animal that is very calm, very nocturnal too, right? So you get a lot of ideas about what to change with regards to your livelihood, very likely more in the evening, if that makes sense, right? And the owl is listening to what's going on around her, if that makes sense. So this is not a month to bring about massive change, regardless of the energy of the month saying be in charge look at your stuff it doesn't mean you shouldn't look at your stuff it just means that while you look at it also please recognize that energetically speaking making major changes with shifting work may not be the right choice ultimately you decide for yourself you have free will this is just advice take it or leave it so that was our most important animal, the owl in the middle. <clears throat> the pheasant, this is one of the reasons why it is not a good idea to make changes hastily, because we have the pheasant, the ring-necked, ring-necked pheasant, <coughs> excuse me, as the incoming energy. And that is an energy that tells you while your intuition makes sense, while the way you see things makes a lot of sense. At this point in time, whatever it is you convey may not be fully understood by other parties. So communication is not really all that positive um, and all that easy in November. So, And sometimes people just listen to respond. They don't necessarily listen to understand. That seems to be some sort of the energy here for the incoming energy with regards to opportunities. The outgoing energy is the chipmunk. And the chipmunk is telling you that opportunities are in the process of coming to you and you will see them exactly for who they are. In other words, my feeling is that anything that feels like, wow, I'm just making this up as a picture so you get the idea, wow, not only will I get a new job, but I'm getting an entirely awesome office with, you know, with a few, you know, two glorious mountains. It all sounds very awesome. You should always look for what the common denominator is when it comes to truth, right? Don't be impressed by superficiality, artificial means, little gifts here and there. Right, and oh, and then we can get you a car. And uh, you know, if you're long, if you're six months with us and you make a certain amount of money, we give you flight vouchers. That's the scenario that the guides give me. It's all poof, right? It all depends on so many factors. It's not how you are, Piscean, supposed to live your life. This is not a gratitude uh, uh, life where you have to reach certain things to get certain things, right? You do with your time as you please. You want to go on vacation, you manifest it. And if that company is just playing with you and say like, wow, well, you know, this person makes X amount and that's why they have all these vouchers. Vouchers are not life. So while that air sector here, that air area felt a bit vague in the way the, way the, the guides <clears throat> explained it, 
Um, there's usually a reason, and that very likely is the reason, because not everything is in the open. Remember, we are in November. So, with Christmas being around the corner, it may not be super feasible to actually think that it would make sense to, to change jobs right now. So, overall, the energy that I got for the era or the area of um, opportunities with regards to work is to be mindful that changes right now may not be made for the right reasons. Okie dokie. Now, Pisceans, that was your reading for the month of November. Um, I just wanted to see um, if I can do, rather than doing a weekly reading, um, if I can give a bit more information. Apparently, this was 20 minutes. And my problem is that I will likely record videos like this, 20 minutes maybe, for each star sign. And I simply do not see myself having the time to keep that up, which is why I said in November I'm attempting a new format, but in December I will likely go back to the regular weekly readings. The thing that sways me is literally you. This is a free service, right? And I literally do what the majority of people really feels gifts them the most. So if the majority of people would say to me like, please, please, please do these readings, right? It would probably mean that they wouldn't be up every month, right? So maybe they would be up every second uh, month, simply because time-wise, I really don't know how to record 12 videos in a month and edit them or upload them and stuff. At this point in time, I'm a bit more comf comfortable with doing weekly readings, but if the majority of people think that this is a much better format and they want them, maybe the universe helps me with time. Who knows? Anyway, thank you so much. Please comment. It's really important. Um, please let me know if you like that format or if you want me to go back to the weekly thing and, and, and just tell me how you feel um, and um, because comments do help. Right? Thank you so much. See you very soon.